everyone, I'm Katherine Martin, founder of Quiet Time Ministries. And every day, I have the privilege of meeting alone with the one who actually created me, who made the world. His name is Jesus, and He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And this is my quiet time. Have you ever been in a tough circumstance and you didn't know how you would make it through? I'm guessing the answer is probably yes, because as Jesus said in John 16, we will experience tribulation in this world. But then he said, take courage, for I have overcome the world. I have been living in Philippians these days, and I am constantly amazed at the attitude and perspective of Paul. He was in prison because of his faith in Christ, suffering had lost literally everything from a human standpoint, including his freedom. But he had an amazing view of circumstances. Listen to what he says. It's in Philippians 1, starting at verse 12. He says, Now, I want you to know, brethren, that my circumstances have turned out for the greater progress of the gospel, so that my imprisonment in the cause of Christ has become well known throughout the whole Praetorian Guard and to everyone else, and that most of the brethren, trusting in the Lord because of my imprisonment, have far more courage to speak the word of God without fear. Some, to be sure, are preaching Christ even from envy and strife, but some also from goodwill. The latter do it out of love, knowing that I am appointed for the defense of the gospel. The former proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition rather than from pure motives, thinking to cause me distress in my imprisonment. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed, and in this I rejoice. Yes, and I will rejoice, for I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayers and the provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation and hope, that I will not be put to shame in anything, but that with all boldness, Christ will even now, as always, be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. Don't you love those words? Paul wanted the Philippian church to know that his circumstances had turned out for the greater progress of the gospel. While he was imprisoned, the Lord had given him a glimpse of glory. He saw that though he was in prison, the Lord was using him even there and doing a mighty work among those with whom he ministered. Now, he just saw a glimpse of it. Where was Paul's focus in his tough circumstances? It was on Christ. He realized that Christ was the one who lived in him and was doing a work in and through him. Listen to Paul's words in verse 20. He says, According to my earnest expectation and hope that I will not be put to shame in anything, but that with all boldness Christ will even now as always, be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. And that word for exalted means made strong and shown to be great. The bottom line is that Paul wanted Christ to be seen in and through his life. And he knew that that could happen whether he was imprisoned or free. Prisons and chains could not hold back the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And you need to know that in your tough circumstance. No matter what you are facing, my friend, the Lord is doing His work in you and through you. Nothing keeps Him from working in your life. Nothing. Now, what will help you to stay strong and have hope? Two things. And we see them in verse 19. Paul says, I know this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayers and the provision of the Spirit of Christ. First, you need the prayers of others in your life. If you are in a tough place, I encourage you to get a team of people to pray for you. Get your friends to pray for you. Have those in your church praying for you. And keep in touch with those prayer partners because they will encourage you. 
I have dear friends who pray for me every day, and they continue to encourage me in my difficult circumstances. And then the other thing that we learn from Paul that gives us hope and expectation is the Holy Spirit. When you become a Christian, you are born again through the work of the Spirit of God in you. You are indwelt by the Holy Spirit. And you want to pray that the Spirit of God will fill you and control and empower you in your difficult circumstances. You have a friend and comforter in the Holy Spirit. He does for you what you cannot do for yourself. When you are weak, He gives you strength. He gives you power to live. So if you are in a tough circumstance where you might even be tempted to give up, just remember that it's never too much for the Spirit of the Lord. He can handle anything that comes your way. So, dear friend, take heart today that your circumstances can be used for the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for showing us today that no circumstance is too great for you. May you be glorified in and through us, even in our adverse circumstances. And that's my quiet time for this week. God bless you as you continue on in the great adventure of knowing Him.